Well, of course, you'd know that paper is really made out of wood. That and this are the same stuff. So isn't it surprising that when you cut them, they behave so differently? You haven't got a clue what I'm talking about. Let me explain. Let me, better yet, demonstrate. I'm going to cut both the ruler and the piece of paper, and I'm going to do it to complete the mystery with that piece of string. And watch carefully, this is what I'm going to do. First of all, I get the piece of string and show that there is no trick. It is a real tough piece of string. And I'm going to cross it by putting it on the ruler there and putting it underneath with a cross. Cross it again, that's really securely holding on there. Let the ends go for a tick while I stick a piece of paper over it. And there's no treat cheating here. I stick the paper down there, run it over the string and stick it up there. The string can't escape. Cross the string again on the top and again on the bottom, that's really tightly bound and just for good measure, again on the top. Watch carefully. Give the string a hearty pull and it cuts through them both. But whereas it hasn't harmed the ruler, it's torn the paper to flitters. Obviously, there's a trick there. And it's not a bad one. Let me clear all the debris away and I'll show you what I've done. And I'll do it with a more revealing piece of string. In fact, uh, I've got a piece of string here which is coloured black on one side and red on the other. When you do this trick on people, don't colour your string, it'll give the game away. Do what I do and that's tie a knot in one end. Then you can work by feel rather than sight. You'll know what's going on, nobody else will. But nonetheless, this is pretty good for showing how the trick works. What you do is to remember three things. You always say cross the black over the red or the red over the black, doesn't matter which, but do the same thing. Always make the crossings come down the ruler towards you. And thirdly, remember the sequence that I'm about to show you. I'm going to cross, where's my knot? On the red, I'm going to cross the red over the black. This is what I do. Put the middle of the string in the ruler. Bring the black one up against the ruler underneath and the red one over it. Remember, red always over black. On top of the ruler, black one first, down towards me, and the red on top of it, the same thing. Now I stick the paper down. And there's no trickery there. You just stick a piece of paper on the top of the ruler. That end first, that end second. Now, the sequence says, cross them on top of the paper. Once again, the black end first, down towards me, the red end over it. Take them under the ruler, the black end up against the ruler first, the red end over it, see how simple it is? And once again, on top of the whole shebang, black followed by red. And you can pull it. And when you do, you get this effect. And if that was a little fast to follow, have a look at this. I want to know. Curiosity.